Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Overtime has not been kind to the home team in recent LSU-Alabama matchups. The road team has won all four overtime games since 2005. And joining me now is LSU columnist Ron Higgins. Well, Ron, this loss hurts so much because LSU had victory in its grasp and then, of course, the infamous personal foul. But where does LSU go from here with a tough Arkansas team coming up next? Yeah, this doesn't fit in the schedule well for LSU. I mean, Arkansas is coming off an open date. They're rested. Alabama is a physical and mental strain for LSU. They gave it everything they had, and they got to regroup. Arkansas hasn't won an SEC game this year. They lost by a point to Alabama. They were throwing at the end zone against Mississippi State for a tie late in the game, had intercepted. And they remember last year's game in Baton Rouge when they had the game won, and Anthony Jennings came in through a, a touchdown pass to Trayvon Durrell and stole the game. So Arkansas is in a really good spot for this game, and LSU's got to get up for it. No, right, no doubt there. And uh, one of the things that killed LSU w were drop passes. And to say that Les Miles was upset post game is an understatement. Here he is. The opener in the uh, in the overtime was a great call. It just hits, hits him in the hands, and certainly he wants to catch it. Um, and uh, but uh, I got a team that. Um, Played a great game, played a tough game, played a, a very physical game, um, and, and could expect to finish first in that game. And, I, uh, and it's tough. It's a tough one. And of course, he first mentioned the pass that fullback Melvin Jones dropped that really would have possibly set LSU up a little bit better in their overtime possession. But the team vowed to push through obstacles, as quarterback Anthony Jennings said. Uh, but you know we still had another chance to win, and uh, you know it's just very painful for us to, to take this loss. But I think we'll bounce back next week. After so the turnover, right there, the, the goal line was Andrew penalty. What did you see? So oh, I didn't see, I didn't see Bell do anything. Honestly, uh, you know he got pushed back. He fell on, to, on, on pretty much on the me. Um, so saying that he did something, I, I don't really know. I got to watch film and see. But being in the moment, I think you know he didn't really do anything. The and while LSU netted only 76 passing yards, uh, I have to say, Anthony Jennings' touchdown on that fade to Malachi Dupree earlier in the game was pretty, and who knows, maybe that might be something that he could build on. Well, Ron, thanks so much. We'll talk to you again this week. Thanks, Rachel. Take care. And we'll look more at the Tiger defense on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.